Welcome back. It's time now to take a look at the top business stories. Aramex expands freight capacities in Europe. National Bank of Abu Dhabi signs a MOU with South Korean insurance company. And Saudi Arabia's oil minister says there is more than enough oil to meet demand. The UAE borders ended in the green territory today. The DFM gained 1.3% to close at 1,500 points. The transportation sector rose the strongest. Stocks to watch today are Aramex, which expands into Ireland. The stock is up 4.6% on the DFM today. And the same for port operator DP World. The construction sector also saw recovery, with Drake and Skull rising 3%. Index heavyweight EMA properties rose 1.4%. 88 million shares were traded, valued at 124 million dirhams. And over in the capital, the ADX gained 1.1% to close at 2,608 points. The construction and the banking sector were among the strongest gainers. Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank rose 3.7%, First Gulf Bank 2.5%. National Bank of Fujairah also reversed yesterday's losses and soared nearly 10%. The real estate sector bucked today's trend and fell. Alder Properties lost 1.3% and Rack Properties 2.6%. Telecom operators Etisalat gained 0.5%, while Qatar Telecom's ADX-listed shares lost 1.7%. 45 million shares were traded, valued at 140 million dirhams. And now let's have a look at the GCC markets, which today followed in the UAE's footsteps. The region's equity markets are in positive territory today. One factor causing this positive sentiment is the rising price of oil. Where is oil heading and what do rising prices mean for the oil-producing GCC economies? Here to discuss the matter is Philippe Doba Pantanat, Senior Economist at Standard Chartered Bank for the Middle East and North Africa. Welcome to the show, Philippe. Oil continued to soar today, even after the strong gains in yesterday's session. Where is oil headed in the weeks and months ahead, do you think? Well, something happened in the um, oil market that is actually uh, quite interesting lately. Is that we have seen um, a sort of a reverse between the uh, brand prices and the WTI prices, which used to be quite in line, but now um, the brand prices um, are quoted in Europe has gone much higher than the WTI. So you do have a spread today um, with the brands hovering the 107 when um, the uh, WTI is um, around the 86 levels. So um, we are definitely entering indeed maybe a dangerous situation in terms of prices, especially for the brand. Um, but we do think that the supply and demand or the fundamentals are um, still in very good shape and that once the risk premium from geopolitical turmoil will abate, um, the fundamental will come back to the forefront. We average 96 for the year. The price of oil is entering a dangerous zone that threatens global economic growth, the International Energy Agency said. What, impl what implications do you see for the GCC, given that the region pumps more than 20% of the world's crude oil? Higher oil prices obviously uh, bring um, wealth to the region and uh, obviously um, improve the public finance of uh, all the GCC countries. Now, there is also a risk or a certain threshold um, that was uh, uh, alluded to in your question, after which um, oil prices, if they go too high, it can kill the recovery and the demand from the oil importing countries. We are not there yet, um, but there is a danger and this is something that we, are saw, that we have seen in the recent years. But um, more importantly, if high oil prices are benefiting in terms of liquidity to the region, the most important thing for this part of the world, if they want to see a growth of real GDP, is actually the augmentation of output and production. Thank you very much, Philippe. And now to our top stories. Aramex acquires Irish aquaship agencies to expand its freight capacities in Europe. 
The deal is one step further in increasing the logistic company's European operations. Dubai-based Aramex did not disclose the purchasing price of the Irish liner agent and freight forwarder. In a statement to the DFM, Aramex said that though the acquisition, its existing customers in Ireland would have immediate access to new ocean freight capabilities. After the announcement, Aramex shares rose the most in almost three months. The National Bank of Abu Dhabi has signed a memorandum of understanding with Korea Trade Insurance Company. The UAE's number one bank signed the MOU with, South Korean, with the South Korean company to arrange trade and project financing loans to South Korean companies that have secured export insurance coverage from Kshore. Kshore is an insurance company founded to help facilitate trade between the country and its export markets. NBAD said the agreement would help boost the economic ties between South Korea and the UAE as well as other countries in the Middle East. Two property developers from the UAE plan to list Islamic real estate investment trusts worth $656 million in Malaysia this year. Though the companies have not been disclosed as yet, they will be the first from the Arabian Gulf to sell Islamic rates in the Southeast Asian nation. The portfolio of properties includes both residential and commercial real estate in the UAE. Property prices have slumped more than 60% in some parts of the country since their peak in 2008, when the global financial downturn froze credit markets and hit demand. And in our fast financial news, Visa saw the total amount spent on Visa cards here in the UAE rise by 37% during the Dubai Shopping Festival. Shopping lovers in total spent $75 million taking advantage of the promotions available during the DSF. Visitors from the US, the UK and China were among those with the loosest wallets. US airplane maker Boeing sees high growth potential in the Middle East. The region's defense market looks promising due to the increasing security requirements. The company's vice president for the MENA region, Paul Oliver, said at this year's defense technology exhibition IDEX. He added that the market was not saturated. The DFM launched a free around-the-clock stock portfolio inquiry call service. The caller can now track his investments as well as his transaction deals on DFM and Nasdaq Dubai listed securities. Transfers of shares from or to an account can be made, shares can be bought or sold, etc., and all that via telephone. The service was implemented to save investors time and effort. And after the break, we take a look at the top international business stories of the day.